what's up you guys welcome back to momani's channel so with this quarantine going on you know we're all stuck with our families so i have done i have done a collab with everyone in my family already um except for one person which is my special guest star so for those of you guys who don't know this is uh my brother-in-law his name's ruben so Ruben actually has a YouTube channel with my sister. Um, so for those of you guys that don't know, um, this is my sister's baby daddy. Um, he's been, he's been in the family since I was like three, so he's kind of like the big brother I've never had. All right, so um, Ruben actually came up with a fun recipe for us to do during this quarantine, and this is gonna be using stuff everyone has in their house. So. Ruben, what are we gonna be making today? Well, I was thinking about making, um, well, since, you know, times are a little hard right now and people don't wanna go to the store and, you know, get exposed to the coronavirus and we're trying to stay safe, trying to stay home. So, well, I'm just gonna use a little bit of stuff that we, we got here at the house that I'm used to using before in the past. So, um, it, it's pretty much like a, well, it's a spread. I'm gonna do a spread. Yeah. I'm gonna make a spread, but with the stuff that I got here at the house, so I'm not gonna try to go out to the store or anything. So I'm gonna try to make it and put it together and see how it works out, see how it comes out. And you guys, I've actually never tasted a spread before. Wish me luck, you guys. I'm scared, cause he brought out a bunch of crazy ass ingredients and I'm like, how is this shit all gonna go together, so. I'm gonna try to make it work, you guys. I'm gonna try to make it. You guys could add a lot of more other stuff to it. That'll be later in the in the video. You guys can see what I'm adding. And you guys could add a little bit, be creative people. You know, you guys could go out there and look through your guys' little pantry or whatever and put something together. So, I mean, we'll see how it works out for us. All right, you guys, so now we're gonna show you guys the ingredients. So, brace yourselves for what we're going to use. Yeah, we got a little bit of this garlic. This chili garlic sauce is pretty good. This is pretty much, it gives it a good flavor. We got corn nuts. So we're gonna add a little bit of corn nuts to it. We got some beef jerky. Okay. So, that, those ingredients are already crazy. And we got top ramen, baby carrots, Chips, chicharrones. What the fuck? And we got, did I say rice? We got rice that was just right there. So we're just gonna, you know, add a little bit of rice to it and see how it all works out. And pretty much you can add a lot of more stuff to it. All right, so what else are we gonna need? We need uh, mayonnaise, some mayonnaise. You guys can add pickles, but I don't really like. Oh no! I mean, I like pickles, but I don't really like it on my. It's food. already it's a no. It's already an it's a no for me, dog. So, you guys can add uh, just a little bit of, of, of the mustard's on the door. Mustard. The mustard's on the door. Oh, so mustard a little bit, just light on the mustard, just give it a little bit of taste. Oh my god, I don't know about this fucking recipe. And. Uh, that's pretty much what we got right now. We're in survival mode right now, so we got to just deal with what we got. Oh you know, God. so stay safe, stay home, and anybody could put this together, so. All right. I know you guys got most of the stuff at home. All right, so what are we going to do next? With... So now we're going to boil some water. Okay, so we got some water boiling. It's a little pot. It's so a this little is... pot. You don't need that much. Okay. And then we're going to smash the soup. We're going to smash them? Okay. Yeah. We're gonna smash like them and see how they come out like that. Okay. We're gonna smash this one. Whoa, this recipe's pretty crazy. We're gonna smash them. The carrots too, you can smash them. They usually give they usually come in little bags. We just throw them against the theme, but since this is a big bag, I think we're just gonna have to cut them or smash them. I'm still trying to figure out a way how to smash them all down. Okay. Or cut them into pieces. So we got do got a cutting board, and um, the corn nuts too. We got to smash these too. Okay. We got to smash them. Damn. So we're just smashing everything. Yeah, we smash everything. Okay. We got to smash everything and get it going. 
So we smash them into like little pieces. So we're basically eating a bunch of crumbs. A bunch of crumbs and okay. that's pretty much. Interesting. So we smash it. It'd be a good little dinner, you know? You enjoy it with your family. I'm trying to see where all these ingredients are going, but like I just I don't see the vision yet. You enjoy it with your with your with your Sally's here at the house. Because that's what we're pretty much talking. That's exactly what it feels like, like if we're on house arrest. We're on house arrest, you guys. Alright you guys, so my job is to start chopping up the slam jam or the beef jerky. So that's what I'm gonna start doing. So, Ruben said that I gotta cut it down. So, you cut it down in the middle like this. And then you just start cutting it like, like this, right? Yeah, just cut it in like, yeah, just cut them. Those are gonna go in our soup. And our spread, I mean. Not a soup. Wait, that's how you guys do it? That's how we smash it, but they come in bags. This is an interesting way to make your food. Like, you have to do that? Well, yeah, because it, it, it breaks them up. See how it's breaking them up? Okay, so then show them what you did. So you got the carrots and you put it in what? In a bag. You, they usually come in little bags, so... You know, you can buy them in little bags and you just throw them against something and they break. Okay, so, so you're using a Ziploc bag. But I'm using a Ziploc bag because I don't think we're going to use all these carrots. So you know how they're breaking, look, they break. Interesting. Okay. See how they're breaking up? Mm -hmm. And they break up. And you just put those in your spread. Look, see how they break up? Yeah. So you don't have to be you're having all kinds of big old chunks in there. Alright guys, so I chopped up both of my um, beef jerkies. So What's now, the next step? What you do is you smash these are, uh, chicharrones, so we smash them up a little bit. You know, smash them up. Okay. Because we're going to mix all this. We're gonna mix all this together right now. So we're gonna get Okay, so now we're using another Ziploc bag. Yeah, we're using another Ziploc bag. Okay. Everything you cook, you can cook it in a, you don't need to mean dishes or nothing. You just cook everything in a bag. Oh, okay. So, so you don't there. even need a lot of stuff to make this. Nope. And you put it in there. And then, Put them in there. Oh, just a little bit. You don't want to put that. Oh, you can put as much as you want. Then you could get these. No. Uh, on. Okay. So now, what's the next ingredient? Well, I usually add a little bit of this garlic sauce on it before I cook it, and then you could add a little bit more after you're done if you want. But well, I just add a little bit. So that's that. Okay. So you put like two tablespoons of yeah. that, um, a little bit show of them what you used? The garlic chili sauce. Okay. It's pretty bomb. That's that prison sauce right there? Yeah. Then, then, uh, you could add the rice to it. So now we're going to add the instant rice? Instant rice. Just to add a little bit. Because I don't know how this good this rice is going to be, but... So we just add a little bit. Yeah, a little bit more. See, maybe it'll come out all right. Cause I never used this rice before. I don't cook with this rice. I usually cook with other stuff. You know, the other kind of rice. And then let's mix it one more time. Get all of that really mixed in there. Good. So is this food is this meal ideal to build up muscle in jail? Yeah, this is a lot of uh, protein, a lot of, you got the protein on the, the meat, the chicharron, then you got your carbs, pretty much. So that's what all the jail homies be eating to get buff? 
in Teja. That's what, that's what they be getting in to get buff and get big. So our last thing is, if we use that, all of it, our last thing is gonna be, we're gonna add boiling water. Your water should be boiling at this time. And then you make, you pour it. A ver si no la cago. Let me see. Cuánta agua tiene. I don't know, Ruben. No tiene que tener. Okay, how much on the man? This food looks Muy questionable. Bien. This looks like the stuff that the doctor tells you not to eat. All in one bag. So the water has to just cover the thing. Okay. It needs more water? So is this how you cook it? Yeah, we're just gonna let it soak in there. And you know it's important to let all the air out? No, um, well I do it because I don't want it to do that I because I didn't have enough water so I'm just trying to let it all cook good okay you know so I didn't have enough water so I'm gonna let it I want to cover it so it could just get as much water as it can so it could absorb because the soup will absorb it and everything else but ya ve como se le esta mientras agua calenta poquita mas agua just in case we need it we don't want it that dry you know I don't know Ruben I might have to smoke to be able to eat this. Yeah, you got to go smoke, piggy. So, así la vamos a dejar hasta que a lo mejor no vamos a ocupar mucho ya. How long do you let it sit for? For just till it absorbs. It absorbs it. I'm just leaving it like that right now. Okay. So it could all absorb. It will absorb the water. So like in jail, how would um this work? Like, does everyone bring something? Yeah, everybody has to bring something to the table. Or else you can't eat. Yeah. No, so, there's a lot of people that still... I mean, I was the one that will always be like trying to, you know... So like one person will bring the sopita and somebody else would bring like the chicharrones? Yeah, chicharrones, whatever they could bring. Some people don't really have nothing coming from the streets, but they still eat though, regardless. Oh, that was nice of you guys. So yeah, let me, we're gonna let it sit there for a little bit. Let that all absorb. So now our food cooked, right? Our soup's cooked, everything's cooked. So you just kind of like mix it all in to get it all get it all mixed up in there. So how long did we let it um, sit for? For like five minutes. And how do you know when it's done? Because the, the there's the water absorbs it, the noodles kind of soft, everything's cool. Now you know. So what you do now is, I mean, I don't know. I like a little bit of mayonnaise on it. It tastes pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little bit of mayonnaise and I'm gonna pour it in there. Just like a, like a, like a spoonful. So. Oh wait, so you put mayonnaise in there? Yeah, just to give it a little creamy taste, boom. And a little bit more, I guess, you could put it. And then you could put a little bit of um, mustard too. I don't know, Ruben. The mayonnaise is kind of like questionable for me. How much? That's good. And if you guys add a little bit of more water to it and it comes too like watery, because it has to be a little bit of dry, not that dry, you guys uh, can always add a little bit more chicharrones to stuff up to that. And what about the Doritos? Oh, the Doritos go at the end. Uh -huh. You can just eat with those. At the so end. that's like the toppers? Yeah, because then they get really soggy. You don't want to put them all in there all soggy. Well, I don't like them like that, but... So what you do is you mix it all in. See? You mix it. 
And you just keep mixing it. Okay. And then you mix it some more. You keep mixing it. Make sure you get it all, all you don't want it to get all kinds of flavor. I mean, you want all the flavor to be all around the spread. You know, you don't want you want it to be all nice and that's that's it. We're ready to eat now. See? So it's like a ramen salad. Yeah. So then what you could do is we got plates here. Okay, so now we're gonna eat. So we're gonna get <clears throat> plates. Okay. We got the carrots. We, oh you I, forgot I, to throw our carrots in there. Yeah, I throw in the carrot. I like carrots because I like I like to eat my vegetables. So I'll just throw them in there. Just to keep it keep it healthy, people. We gotta keep it wow. healthy. That's like the only healthy ingredient in there. We gotta keep it healthy, so we mix them in there too. You gotta mix them in there. You can pretty much mix anything you want. You got celery, you can put celery in it. You can put onion. You could put, uh, yeah, you could put a lot of anything, anything you really wanna put in it. All right, so, so now we eat. Yay, can't wait. This is like some ghetto ass chow mein. I'm gonna get a double, I'm gonna get another scoop, cause. Oh, you, go ahead, take as much as you want. Okay, so now he's gonna add in the Doritos. And you could just add them, like next, I add them next to it, cause I don't really like to eat my Doritos all soggy. Oh, you don't smash them? You could smash them and just put them on there. But I rather I rather eat them like this. So I added a little bit of more uh, garlic sauce to mine because it tastes better. I don't know if you want to add a little bit it's just so you can taste it. Ah, uh, no thanks. I'll keep. Okay, you guys. So now that it's done, mm -hmm. we gotta do the famous taste test. This is for all the freaks. All right. Yeah. So let's do the fetish bite. The fetish bite. I'm scared. This is the fetish bite, you guys. Scared, you guys. Let's see. Tastes pretty good, huh? You know, it's actually not bad. Not bad. Hmm. Like if I was in jail and I had any nasty food, I wouldn't mind eating this. Not bad, huh? There's a cool little struggle meal, you guys. So if anyone is kind of struggling right now, this is a cool little struggle meal. It's actually you don't not much. bad. Yeah. I was kind of tripping with all the ingredients, but it's actually not bad. It's actually pretty good. You guys stay home. Be safe. We, I know we still got to go through this little struggle of this quarantine, coronavirus. Make sure you guys stay home, though. You know, take it real serious. <clears throat> you know... I know for a lot of you guys it's kind of hard to stay home, but I mean, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry later, you you know, but stay home, be careful, and stay safe. Then that concludes my video today, you guys. I hope you guys thought this was a cool little video. We don't have nothing to do, so we're just coming up with videos to do for you guys. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you guys think about this spread video. Tell me if there's something that you guys might have added that we didn't add. Um, we just used whatever we had at home so we didn't like go out of our way for these ingredients Let me know if you guys want to see another collab with my brother-in-law I'm gonna put his Instagram on the description box in case you guys want to check him out Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and thank you guys so much for watching Mo Money's channel. Thank you